It's five o'clock. We're starting this morning with some somber news from the University of Notre Dame. We learned overnight President Emeritus Father Ted Hesburgh died at the age of 97. A memorial is growing on campus as people mourn the influential leader who touched the lives of so many students and people around the world. Father Hesburgh was arguably one of the most influential people on the Notre Dame campus, and his work for human rights and peace can be felt globally. This morning, we're remembering his service and his impact. WSBT 22's Kristen Bean is live at Notre Dame right now, and Kristen, news of his death spread quickly overnight. Yeah, that's right. This is a man who spent the majority of his life working for the betterment of this university and for people around the world. He was beloved. We learned overnight that Father Hesburgh had been praying for a long time that he would be able to say Mass again, and we learned that he was able to do that yesterday at 11.30 a.m. at Holy Cross House where he lived. He died 12 hours later last night at 11.30. His brother and sister-in-law were with him. This morning, I'm live here at the Hesburg Library. You can see the lights off in the distance. It was named after Father Ted, as so many called him, back in 1987. Now, Father Hesburgh was the president of the university from 1952 to 1987. In a university statement, current president of Notre Dame, Reverend John Jenkins, said he was a great man and a faithful priest who transformed the university and touched the lives of many. During his leadership at the college, the university was transformed. Enrollment doubled, faculty doubled, research funding, endowments increased exponentially. And in 1972, the university allowed the admission of women to the undergrad program. Father Hesburgh's impact has felt has been felt far beyond the campus too. He's held 16 presidential appointments over the years and they involved him in virtually all major social issues. In fact, he was a member of the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights and welcomed Martin Luther King Jr. here to campus in 1963. He received the Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor from President Lyndon Johnson in 1964. Uh, his, the accolades and the awards of Father Hesburgh are too many to list here this morning. Uh, but in accordance with Father Hesburgh's wishes, a customary Holy Cross funeral mass will be celebrated at the Basilica of the Sacred Heart at Notre Dame in the coming days for his family, friends, religious leaders, university trustees, administrators, and select advisory council members, faculty, staff, and students. Now, a university tribute to Father Hesburgh will take place in the Purcell Pavilion at the Joyce Center. We don't know yet when that will be. That has yet to be announced. We will be honoring Father Hesburgh here on WSBT all morning long and throughout the day. Coming up at 530, we'll talk a little bit more on his impact around the country and around the world. Live on Notre Dame's campus, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News. Kristen, thanks very much. Reverend Hesburgh's impact, of course, is being felt throughout Notre Dame and the South Bend area this morning. South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg released a statement remembering Reverend Hesburgh early this morning. In part, it says, quote, Father Ted Hesburgh was an extraordinary leader. He touched countless lives, including mine, with his intellect, faith, and decency. He will be remembered for his visionary understanding of how to build a world-class university and also for his great courage in historic moments like the civil rights movement. Mayor Buttigieg also says South Bend will honor his memory by striving to be and do more than what was thought possible. 